join me for langar today? Langar? What is that? Langar is the term used in the Sikh religion for free vegetarian food served in a Gurudwara. Wow! Food! Sure! I will come along with you. So let's go! Yippee! Yes! 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 It is so crowded here. Yes, JC. It is crowded because people from all classes of society are welcome at the Gurudwara. But why is this langar organized? The Sikh langar or free kitchen was started by the first Sikh Guru, Guru Nanak. Guru Nanak Ji upheld the principle of equality between all people of the world. The tradition of langar thus expresses the ethics of sharing, community and oneness of all humankind. I am so hungry. Come, let's sit down. Thank you. Hmm. Hello, son. The plate in which you will have your food is magical. So listen to me carefully. You have six bowls in the plate. And in every bowl, you'll find a piece of paper. You have to read what is written there before touching the food. But why are you asking me to do so? Listen to my advice and you will see for yourself. Hmm. Let me open the lid. Maybe that man was joking with me. Huh? There is a paper here. Okay. No harm in reading it. I have to go and see this. Hello. Please talk for me. Who is that? I am JC. I want to know about Sant Guru Nanak. Hmm. Guru Nanak was born at Talwandi. Nanakana Sahib in Pakistan and lived from 15 April 1469 to 22 September 1539. He is the central figure in Sikhism and is the first of the 10 Sikh Gurus. Sikh believe that all subsequent Gurus after Guru Nanak possessed Nanak's divinity and religious authority. Where is he going now? He is heading towards Talwandi, his birthplace. Am I in Pakistan? You are in the town of Katarpur, established by Guru Nanak in 1522. Look there, JC. That is Gurudwara Dera Baba Nanak, a sacred place near the river Ravi, where Guru Nanak had established the first Gurudwara and breathed his last. JC, we are standing on the soil of Talwandi now. Oh, so this is the birthplace of Guru Nanak. Can you tell me anything else? I have heard that Guru Nanak had a lot of followers. Yes, JC. Guruji's idea of liberation pointed towards the pursuit of active life with a strong sense of social commitment. He himself used the terms Nam, Dan and Isnan for the essence of his teaching, which actually meant right worship, welfare of others and purity of conduct. His teachings are now remembered as Naam Japna, Kirt Karna and Vand Chakna. Thanks for your time. But I have also heard about the 10 Sikh Gurus. Can you tell me about them? No, no, my son. I will not be of any help to you as I have to accompany Guru Nanak Ji now. Okay. I shall find out from someone else. Thank you. Phew. I am back. Now let me try the second piece of paper. Welcome JC. What you see here are the images of 10 Sikh Gurus. Let me introduce them to you. Great! But where are you? Just follow my voice JC. Sikhism was established by the first Sikh Guru, Nanak Dev. On meeting Guru Nanak Dev at the age of 27, Lena became a devout disciple of Guru Nanak. 
Before his death in 1539, Guru Nanak Dev appointed Lehna as his successor. Okay, so Lehna became the second Guru of the six. Yes, but he became to be known as Guru Angad. Guru Angad compiled compositions of Guru Nanak and also added his own in a new script called Guru Mukhi. Who were the rest of the gurus? The rest of the gurus were Guru Amar Das, Guru Ram Das, Guru Arjan Dev, Guru Har Gobind, Guru Har Rai, Guru Har Kishan, Guru Teg Bahadur, Guru Gobind Singh. Wow! So many gurus! But what let the Sikh community believe in all the ten gurus? They could have only acknowledged the first guru, Guru Nanak as their supreme lord. This is because most of the stout devotees and disciples of the preceding gurus were made the successors and the tradition of succession carried on. Wow! That was a lot about Guru Nanak and his successors. I will check out the golden temple. It looks amazing. This looks awesome. But who will help me here? I can't hear the voice anymore. Son, you look lost. What are you doing here? Uh, actually, I was going somewhere, but saw this temple on the way and decided to pay a darshan. Come and pray. Why is this place so famous for the Sikhs? The Tarbar Sahib is considered holy and beautiful by Sikhs because the eternal Guru of Sikhism, the Shri Guru Granth Sahib, is present inside in it. But who has built this beautiful temple? This place was established by Guru Ram Das Ji, the fourth Guru of the Sikhs. Isn't it beautiful? Definitely. You know, JC, the fourth Guru of Sikhism, Guru Ram Das, excavated a tank in 1577, which subsequently became known as Amritsar, giving its name to the city that grew around it. But that was just a tank. In due course, a splendid Sikh edifice, Darbar Sahib, Temple of God, was constructed in the middle of this tank, which became the supreme center of Sikhism. And what about the Adi Guru Granth Sahib? Guru Gobind Singh, 1666 to 1708. The tenth of the Sikh Gurus affirmed the sacred text Adi Granth as his successor, terminating the line of human gurus and elevating the text to Guru Granth Sahib. It is a voluminous text of 1430 angs, parts, compiled and composed during the period of Sikh Gurus from 1469 to 1708. To this compilation were added the writings of Sheikh Farid, Sant Kabir and Bhagat Namdev as well. Thanks a lot for giving me that information. I will leave now. Hmm. Here goes the third sheet. Uh, uh where am I now? What are you staring at, JC? Huh? The voice is back. Well, what is happening here? This is the Khalsa Panth, the community of the Sikhs that became a political entity and operated in the 17th and 18th century Punjab. This was the foundation of entirely new sect in Sikhism, the formation of Khalsa Panth. But who formed the Khalsa Panth and why? During the 17th century, the Sikh community was referred to as a state within the state. The Mughal emperor 
Jahangir felt threatened by them and ordered the execution of Guru Arjan in 1606. Oh, the Mughal Emperor Jahangir! Thus, to fight Mughal oppression, Guru Gobind Singh established a new religious order in 1699. Wow! Thanks for the information, but I have to leave now. I am late. Yes, JC. You're welcome. Oh God, where am I? JC, come sit with us. Uh, oh, uh, uh, Uncle Auntie, um, sorry. Yes, I shall definitely join you all. JC, why are you looking so confused? Well, um, it's nothing, Milly. Uncle, have you not been to the langar? Yes, my boy. We are going to the langar. All devotees of Guru Nanak Ji believe in Naam Japna, Kirat Karna and Vand Chakna, right? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, Absolutely right. right.